Hello, sixth grade band. This is Mr. Delabriere, and I'm going to be making one of my first practice videos. This is for Essential Elements Exercise 164. I'm going to play it on clarinet because I need the practice on clarinet, and it's got a few unique challenges for clarinet. So, uh, without further ado, here is Essential Elements 164 on clarinet. can hear there was a massive squeak on that last note and that is one of the reasons why we all need to practice our high notes as far as clarinet um, so uh, let me talk about the squeak first this is for all woodwind players squeaks are a thing and even if you google why does my clarinet squeak you get all kinds of useful information um, even things like checklists on how to watch out for squeaks so just to give a quick note about squeaking um, one thing to look for is the reed to make sure that it's on correctly, it's on straight, uh, and to make sure that your reed is the right strength. So if you are struggling with squeaks all the time, you might want to think about going up or down in reed strength. Uh, only, by, only go up or down by a half size or a quarter size if you are going to change your reed strength. So um, I'm glad that I picked clarinet and then I'm glad that I squeaked because I really need to talk about that. Uh, that's one of the most important things. The next important thing is to make sure that the clarinet has the right angle up and down and the right uh, and that it's exactly flat left to right. So for clarinet players, that's something to focus on. All right, uh, I'm gonna move on from that. Uh, one actually one more thing I will say about the clarinet. Um, the tricky parts here are switching between A and B because you're crossing directly over the break. So making sure that you're having your that you're uh, ready to cover all the holes immediately for the B coming from the A and you're going to maybe slide that finger down. So keeping your finger, this is for all woodwind players again, keeping your fingers hovering above where they need to be is going to make sure that you're going to be able to, or that you're going to be able to switch your notes cleanly and quickly. So if I'm picking my fingers up too far, it's going to be much more difficult. So keep them small and you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to get all your notes quick. All right, uh, about this exercise for all wind instruments, a few things to look for. Uh, first of all, the dynamics are very, very clear in this. We start at piano, so that should be very soft. Some people are playing like full volume right out of the gate, and they're not giving themselves any room to get louder when we switch to mezzo forte. Mezzo piano to mezzo forte, small jump or a big jump. It's pretty big in dynamics. We're going up two whole levels, so keep that in mind. Make sure that you're starting soft. And then we do have a big crescendo, and that crescendo is on a half note. So that should be the only thing you hear. And if you listen back to the recording that I did at the beginning, you'll notice that I did do a pretty sizable crescendo there during that note. And then, of course, we end at forte. Uh, you'll need plenty of air when you get to the forte, by the way, for all wind instruments. So keep that in mind. Uh, one more thing to keep in mind are the eighth notes on the beat. They should be short. Um, so, for example, if I were going to play measure two, uh, if I were going to play measure two just as two quarter notes instead, it would sound like this. But because they're two eighth notes on the beat, they need to be short and separated with a short breath. All right. And. Aha! One very common mistake that I hear from all wind players on this exercise, and that is that they miss the key signature. I'm not sure why. It's there. It's not for decoration. Just look at the key signature, especially in measure two, beat one. That's a massive, massive mistake that some people make. It should sound like this. And so many people play that first note wrong because of the key signature, and they play it like this. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. So. Make sure you get that right. The next one is in measure four, beat one. A lot of people play that wrong. Uh, so please focus on measure four, beat one. Uh, and measure two, beat one for the key signature. All right, um, please comment on this video if you liked it so that I know that you watched it and liked it and that it's a good use of your time and I will make more of them. While you're 
while you're commenting, please request what instrument you'd like to see next and what exercise you'd like to see next. And if you don't like it, then either let me know very politely or um, don't comment, and then I will stop doing them. So good luck with your homework. Don't forget about Essential Elements Interactive, and I wish you all the very best. I miss you. Goodbye. Bye.